sin se debe huir. Visited by the scientist and contemporary philosopher Samael Agone Baor. We want to take advantage of his presence in order to ask him certain types of questions of international concern. Can you tell us, Doctor? Samael Agone Baor, what is entropy? Indeed, entropy is a disordering, devolving process. Unquestionably, entropy exists within our psychological idiosyncrasy when we do not work on our psyche. When we do not look for radical transformation. When we are content being what we are, ser así como somos. Por estos tiempos, in this day and age, everything marches in a descending, disorderly, and devolving way. Entropy tends to equalize everything. Thus, we see that death arrives after the long, devolving process. Therefore, it is not strange that everything becomes equalized. If we placed a vessel with hot water next to another with cold water, obviously, a certain devolving, decadent disorder will be produced within the two vessels which at the end, after all of this process, will be equalized. In an analogous manner, we would say, if we do not work on our psyche, if we do not look for radical transformation, Therefore, the hour has arrived to comprehend the greatness of sacrifice. This is obvious. Since the catastrophes, prophecies, and many other weird things that terrorize humanity are spoken about, Doctor. Samael Lagone Baor, can you tell us something about Michael of Nostradamus? with much pleasure. It so happens that Nostradamus was a great doctor and astrologer of the Middle Ages. He educated himself in the wisdom of the Egyptians. They say that he endured entire nights gazing fixedly, without blinking at the water in a copper pot. Some affirm that within that lustrous water, he could see the completely dazzling clarity, the events of the future. Therefore, Nostradamus was a great seer. No one can deny this. To date, all of the prophecies made by Nostradamus have been mathematically accomplished. He also prophesied the Second World War, and he even gave the name of Hitler with the exception of one mistaken letter. However, I believe that those who were mistaken were the translators. Thus, there is no doubt that his terrible prophecies of the future will be accomplished. Like the famous one about 1999. He also prognosticated the Third World War and many other events of an extraordinary nature. In the way that I see and understand things, we are in the times of the end. However, some people think that the times of the end will be some millions of years. Yet, they are mistaken. Hey, Doctor, since you mentioned the Third World War, and since modern scientists comment a lot about it, tell us, is it true that a Third World War will occur? This is indubitable. 
Michael of Nostradamus prophesied the First, Second, and also the Third World Wars. Great sages from the past already prophesied the three great world wars for this century. I think that the worst among them is the one that is approaching, the third, which is going to be a frightful atomic holocaust, where the main cities of the world will disappear in the nuclear explosions. What is the most grave of all of this is the radioactive contamination. With the Third World War, the atmosphere will be contaminated in a frightful manner. The radioactivity will radically contaminate the air, the water, and in general, everything that exists. For example, our rain will be radioactive. The crops will be lost. They will be lost simply because nobody will be able to use them. That is all. The fact of eating food contaminated by radioactivity is dreadful. Yet, this is how it is going to be. There is no doubt that the Third World War is on the brink of happening. On the other hand, in this day and age, there is hunger and desolation in a frightful sequence. A crisis of values, etc. All of this is pushing us little by little to the edge of the Third World War. Since unquestionably, each one of us carries within our psyche the factors that produce war, egoism, hatred, etc. Can you tell us, Dr. Samael Agonebaur, now that much is being spoken about the extraterrestrials, how are they going to intervene in these moments of world conflict? Are they going to intervene in our favor or on the contrary? Are they going to help to more to our destruction? Well, people have too many concepts about the subject of extraterrestrials. However, it is worthwhile to analyze this topic even if it's just for a moment. In the name of the truth, let us assert that extraterrestrials exist even if skeptical people disbelieve it. This topic of extraterrestrials has been completely demonstrated. Now, regarding my own experience, let me tell you that I have personal evidence about the existence of extraterrestrials. I had a personal encounter in Mexico City, there in the National Park, the Desert of the Lions, with a cosmic ship of intergalactic travelers. I have never narrated this event, because I do not see a reason to tell my story all the time. Now then, what I want to tell you in an emphatic manner is that they want to help us. It would not be strange if they have to intervene in the moment in which we precipitate ourselves in the Great Atomic Holocaust. They always have helped this humanity. They navigate everywhere in outer space. This is not the first time that they have visited us. They have always visited us and they will always continue visiting us. Indubitably, they cannot leave us abandoned. Thus they have to intervene in order to help us. They are human beings in the most complete sense of the word. True human beings. I am emphasizing this affirmation because it so happens that we, the earthlings, are nothing more than intellectual animals and that is all. Doctor, much has been said about the planet Ergolubus, or Red Planet, as called by the scientists. Is it true that that planet will collide with the planet Earth? Well, what you are saying has been demonstrated in all of the observatories of the world. Yet, I want to clarify that such a collision will be electromagnetic. It is not a collision of physical masses. It is clear that if the planet Herculubus passes very close to our planet Earth, a catastrophe has to occur. Since it so happens that Herculubus is a gigantic world, 
We can assert that it is many times bigger than the planet Jupiter, the titan of our solar system. Thus, when it passes close to our world, it has to produce a revolution of the axis of the Earth. Then the seas will change their beds and present lands will submerge to the very bottom of the ocean. Yet, before this catastrophe related with the revolution of the axis of the Earth occurs, the fire will enter into activity. Indubitably, as Herculubus comes closer and closer, the liquid fire in the interior of our world will leap over the surface of the Earth. Then, erupting volcanoes will appear everywhere, accompanied by strong earthquakes. Thus, all the cities of the world will collapse. New York, Greece, London, Buenos Aires, and even our beloved Mexico City. Nothing will be saved from the hecatomb. Those who do not want to believe it so, let them not believe it. Yet, facts are facts and before the facts, they will have to surrender. Therefore, Herculubus is coming. It is in sight of all the observatories of the world. There are already stellar maps where the orbit of Herculubus is shown. It belongs to a solar system named Tylo. And it is obvious that that world has to pass very close to our planet. Herculubus is extremely gigantic, so it has to produce terrible convulsions on our Earth. Therefore, Herculubus will bring the jewel of the fire and the water into our world. Therefore, everything that now exists will cease to exist within a very short period of time. If people do not believe it, if they laugh about it, what does it matter to science and to us? Since it is written, he who laughs at what he does not know is an ignoramus who walks on the path of idiocy. This is a terrible affirmation. Therefore, in the name of the truth, I have to tell you that Herculubus is very close. Can you tell us, Doctor? Samael Laguane Baor, based on your very interesting statements, what will the world catastrophe of 1999 consist of? It is worthwhile to answer this question. Indubitably, Nostradamus, the famous astrologer, stated that when Herculubus approaches, people will see two suns in the sky. This will alarm the multitudes. With the approach of Herculubus, people will become excessively nervous since the electromagnetic waves of that planet are almighty. When this occurs, the Third World War will have already passed. Then, our planet in those times will be very much charged with radioactivity. Michael of Nostradamus stated that with the arrival of Herculubus, everything that exists will cease to exist. He also clearly affirmed that the astronomers of such an epoch, incapable of understanding the deep significance that this stellar movement encloses, will make a great deal of plans for the future. They will make beautiful, amusing sophisms. Then the people, confused by the scientists of the Earth, will not even have the most remote opportunity to defend themselves. Now then, every time that Herculubus has arrived close to the Earth, it has produced a catastrophe. When it arrived at the end of the Lemurian root race, that the fires of that continent entered into eruption. We already know that Lemuria sank through 10,000 years of earthquakes. 
It also arrived at the end of the Atlantean epoch. We already know that the inhabitants of Atlantis perished, devoured by the waters. This is according to the universal deluge. According to all the narrations of all historians from all ages and epochs. Herculubus is now precisely approaching at the end of our Aryan root race. In order to place the endpoint to this degenerated and decadent civilization. This humanity is mature enough in order to receive its final punishment. This is the crude reality found in the tremendous prophecies of Nostradamus. Such are they written in his famous book entitled, The Centuries. Those who listen to us, please study that book, where you will see my assertions confirmed. Therefore, the fundamental base of the great catastrophe will be the arrival of Herculubus. In these moments, astronomers have it in sight of their telescopes and the catastrophe is already described in all of the observations of the world. It is already illustrated in the different cosmic maps. If presently, they are not making much publicity of this matter, it is in order to avoid mass hysteria.